Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? You're Devon Toro in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to mix a two track instrumental or beat in under a minute with one plugin. Something like your YouTube beats that you rip from online, or just a beat in general that you get from a producer that's just a two track instrumental. I'm going to mix this in under a minute with one plugin and have total control over the kick, the snare, the whiff everything with one plugin in under a minute. So start the timer. Let me show you it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. I mean, that might've been like 30, 40 seconds. Check this out. Check out what just happened and how much control I have over this. I'm gonna bypass this back and forth without first. Listen close. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce our HMD two track studio rack preset now available at helpmedevon.info. This thing is a time saver. It is incredible. We spent so much time on creating this preset here in Studio Rack to give you total functionality and, um, and just power over your two tracks. I heard you, I listened, and here it is. A plugin all in one that's immersive and allows you to affect the two track individually as far as its parts and everything, like it dissects the entire thing. Now this is very powerful for people that like use YouTube beats or anything of that nature. I'm gonna show you in depth how to use this how to use this preset that is now available at helpmedevon.info, which is in the description below. And um, let's just get right to it. Before we go any further though, I will ask you guys to subscribe and like this video to keep this channel thriving and going. We just hit 90,000 subscribers and I wanna thank you. And so we're finally releasing this HMD two track preset for Studio Rack. So let's get into the plugin. All right. So first things first, there's a knob here that says gain stage. And a lot of you always ask me about two tracks and gain staging in general. Now, when it comes to gauge staging, really what you're trying to accomplish is you're trying to turn down whatever the sound source is so that it doesn't distort the plugins when you throw EQs or anything like that on there. If you have a signal that's coming in very hot to your DAW, then what you have to do is you have to turn it down. A lot of you will try to record on top of a two track and it's mastered, it's a limiter on it, it's cranked and you need to turn it down. So we made it super simple for you to just turn down the two track. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, you'll notice that right here, this button right here, you see that I have it at seven dB down. I turned it down seven dB so that I can, for the sake of this tutorial, I can bypass back and forth so you can truly hear the difference. Because if I went over here and turned this down seven dB, when I press bypass, obviously it would shoot back up, but that's how you should use it. You should gain stage before you do anything to your two track. So as soon as you come into your two track, my suggestion is you go to gain stage and you bring it down about six to seven dB or even more, depends on your taste. But that's the first thing you do that so that when you actually start adding stuff to the kick, stuff to the EQ, stuff to the compression, it doesn't distort your plugins at that stage. So I made it super easy for you guys. Use the gain stage knob, a simple knob that helps you turn down the beat or whatever the sound source is before you start to process it, which is super important and why a lot of your stuff might sound really bad. So gain stage in one knob, easy to do. Okay. Next thing I have over here is the kick knob. And we figured out a way to make it intelligent where it really just hones in on that kick by itself. So check this out. Let's turn this all the way down and check out the power of what this does to the kick. By itself, holds the kick in a nice place. Check this out. And 
And we figured out a way to bring out the elements in the kick heavily without actually making it clip and holding it to a nice place, even when it's cranked super, super hard to the right. So it's a really intelligent way that we figured out how to control that kick, how to get more out of the kick without it actually being too overbearing in your entire sound. Preference, use it to your advantage and use it to your taste. The next thing I got over here is this quality knob. And this is probably my favorite knob. Now, when you're downloading beats from YouTube, uh, from producers, these are MP3 files, right? Or these are really converted, converted to converted uh, uh, files and the quality gets lost along the way. So what we did was we incorporated this button or this knob that says quality. And what the quality does is it gives you this idea or feeling of quality being brought back into the actual two track. It's a very interesting sound that we added into it to give you the feel of, upper harmonics and basically to bring that thing out completely. So check this out, quality. And you feel like the entire beat just opened up. It feels like the beat is covered. And then when we enhance the quality knob, it basically feels like the beat just starts to shine, starts to get like this feeling back. And that's what we love about the quality knob. It does that for you and kind of gives you that essence and feeling. You'll notice that all the high end stuff just gets really more open and things of that nature. And it's a super powerful, powerful knob to use in moderation. Okay, next knob I'll show you is something that we used and we had to work on for a little while because we had to decide if you guys would really want something like this. There's a lo-fi knob on here. And I like the lo-fi knob because sometimes we want to drown that beat out and give a feeling. Check out this lo-fi knob. Really sick if you're looking to get some more of that lo-fi effect. I mean, it's here for you and it's it's quick, it's easy, it's simple to use and you can actually use some automation to choose when you want it to happen in the moment. So there's a lo-fi plug uh, as far as that's concerned just to give you that feeling immediately on the two track. Powerful. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this other one. And long story, there's a, a, a very powerful knob on here. And I think this is the most powerful knob on here, actually, when I come to think of it. This is this knob is called the Vox Carve. And basically what the Vox Carve uh, knob allows you to do is, it allows you to go into the two track, and we figured out a very interesting way to do this, and carve out frequencies in the two track to make room for the vocal. Yes, so check this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute this one, and I have another song queued up that's right here. This is called Villain, produced by Levin's uh, Gene, L. Gene, who is actually a, uh, the FL Studio guru of HDM, uh, HMD. Shout out to him uh, and that kid V on this song. Also, the producer from the previous beat that I ripped from YouTube, I literally just ripped the beat from YouTube. His name is produced by Sedes. If anything, I'll leave his name in the description below. Make sure you credit people. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play this for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of that Vox Carve uh, information in here. But first, I'm going to mix the two track beat so that I can get this thing to sound a little bit more up and, and better. So let's solo this two track and let's mix this two track under a minute. Here we go. Filling in the story. Awesome, so we've mixed our two track. Now, let's look at, and that was very fast, I know. Now, let's bring in a vocal so we can hear it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it for you by itself with that beat in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, the next round, I'm gonna turn up the Vox Carve and see how it takes out stuff in the beat without taking too much of it in order to make room for that vocal. So check this out. Without first, just listen to the vocal and the relationship between the vocal and the actual two track beat first. I keep it a thousand. I think you're a stallion. Every time you leave me, baby, I get so nostalgic. When you coming back, yeah. 
Okay, cool. Now let's make room for that vocal in the two track. Listen closely. I keep it a thousand. I think you're a style, yeah. Every time you leave me, baby, I get so nostalgic. When you coming back, yeah, so that I can have it. You were fucking savage. Had it in my last chance. So I bypassed it back and forth a few times, but check this out. I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. Listen to what this thing did. I keep it a thousand. I think you're a style, yeah. Every time you leave me, baby, I get so nostalgic. When you coming back, yeah, so that I can have it. You were fucking savage. Had it in my last chance. Okay, also I hear in the beat, hey, I want a little bit more out of the snare in this. So check this out. I'm gonna turn up the snare by itself. Check this out. I keep it a thousand. I think you're a style, yeah. Every time you leave me, baby, I get so nostalgic. When you coming back, yeah, so that I can have it. You were fucking savage. Had it in my last chance. Pull up on me, you the worst day. Yeah, pull up on me. Big difference. I have so much control now. Granted, I would DS these vocals and probably put an overall DSer on the entire thing just to compensate for it because El Gene said to me, he said, this isn't a mixed beat, etc. But look what we got out of this beat uh, with the actual two track there. The Vox card completely just makes space for the vocal. Now, let me exaggerate the Vox Carb just to give you an idea of even when it's cranked, you can tell that it's getting rid of certain frequencies to make room for that vocal. Check this out. I keep it a thousand. I think you're a style, yeah. Every time you leave me, baby, I get so nostalgic. When you coming back, yeah, so that I can have it. You were fucking savage. Had it in my last chance. It's extremely subtle, but that's why we created it in a subtle way where you don't even realize it's kind of carving out frequencies, but it still retains those things. We made this two track HMD studio rack preset because, or better yet in the, the mindset that we wanted was, we wanted to, it to be subtle. We don't want it to be so overbearing where you crank something and it feels like, oh, well, I've altered the entire thing. We wanted it to be, uh, as far as certain knobs to be very subtle in what it does, because I, we got to realize these beats that you're getting, that you're getting two tracks, a lot of times they are, they have limiters on them. They have um, all kinds of processing on them that, you know, you have to be very careful on how you manage them. So it's extremely powerful in what it does. Uh, two more things that I'll show you is uh, the bottom knob and I'll show you the width knob. So let's check out this bottom, right? So let me get this right here. So I'm gonna turn this bottom piece, uh, I'm gonna leave it where it was and I'm gonna bypass it back and forth. Check what this bottom does, I'm gonna play with this. Let's tell it, let's hear it by itself. Crazy, you feel the low end just came right up. And we're also doing some really intelligent things within the actual plugin to compensate for too much of the low end. Check it out with a kick. It adds bottoms to kicks and everything. Listen to this close. has a nice way of just adding some bottom in um, to any of your two tracks and it's super powerful to have just in one knob. One of the last things that I'll show you guys with the plugin is this whiff knob. And we created this whiff knob to be very, very subtle. But if you're listening close on monitors or in headphones, you will notice this difference with the whiff. And it's very subtle, but you hear it. You feel the entire mix kind of just open up. And what I'll do for that one is I'll go back to this uh, Type beat from YouTube uh, produced by Cetus. And I hope I'm saying his name right, but I'll leave his name in the description. So let's go back to the Cetus one. Let's go to the whiff knob and let's check out what it does to the whiff. So check this out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. I'm gonna take the quality knob is off as well. And I'm gonna bypass this whip knob back and forth. Check this out. Now, 
Now, this was extremely, extremely subtle, but if you're listening in headphones or you're listening on monitors, you can hear this difference where it widened the entire two track, guys, with just the one knob. Last thing I'll show you guys is the snare knob. And we're really proud of the snare knob because for years, it's been really tough to really hone in on a two track and bring out just the snare. Let's say, for instance, you just wanna bring out just the snare. Check this out. Guys, the HMD two the HMD two track Studio Rack preset is now available in the description below. I really hope you guys enjoy this. We worked tirelessly on this preset to get it right. Um, this is something that I am now super using on all my two tracks when it comes into me or uh, when anyone sends me anything. You can get it in the description below under the presets at helpmedevon.info. It's available for anyone that has Studio Rack and a Waves Gold Bundle. And we didn't even use all of the plugins in the Waves Gold Bundle. We used specific ones, which if you go on over to helpmedevon.info and look in the description, you'll see exactly what plugins you need. But they're all from the Waves Gold Bundle, something that we probably all have these plugins. I made it super uh, open for anyone to be able to use and, and possibly afford from what you probably already have from the Waves Gold Bundle. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you visit us at Help Me Devon at on Instagram. Also, make sure you visit me or ask me any questions at helpmedevon at gmail.com. And remember, it's available in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, until next time, you guys.